Hello students and uh, namaste everyone. I am Dawal sir and our today's topic is from your English grammar writing skills part. The name of the topic is notice writing. Okay. So first uh, to understand notice writing we need to understand the meaning of notice. Right. So what is the meaning of notice? So a uh, notice is usually a written or printed announcement. Okay. And uh, so notice is usually written in order to inform a large number of people about something that has happened or is about to happen All right so many a times we get uh, notice regarding the invitation many a times uh, if some event has happened okay uh, for example if the student has not attended the exams then a person or the parents can get the notice from the school right so usually the notice uh, can be sent to the person or a group of person before the event or after the happening of the event also okay so as notice is a formal means of communication uh, it should always be brief okay short and to the point okay and uh, as we all know that we have discussed what is the meaning of formal right uh, when we have discussed about the letter writing uh, at that time we have understood what is formal writing and what is informal writing so usually formal writing is that form of writing uh, which is used for the business then uh, legal purpose then academic or professional purpose and at the same time uh, on the other hand informal writing uh, is one which is uh, used for personal or casual purpose right that is when we write the letter to our friends family members relatives okay so that is informal purpose so notice writing is usually uh, a formal means of communication okay so now we'll go towards this topic by reading out okay here you can find out the purpose of notice is to announce or display information to a specific group of people right uh, many a times we have seen the notice in the newspapers many a times we can see the notice written on the boards if you visit the school if you visit any government institutes so once you uh, visit over there you can find different notice boards are there where a specific notice is mentioned right so for whom it is written and what is the purpose of notice we can understand from reading the notice okay so it is usually for specific group of people and notices are generally meant to be pinned on a specific display board uh, whether in schools or in public places that i have already discussed notices issued by the government appears in newspaper so that i have already told to you now we will go towards the format of the notice right how to write the notice and what all points should be taken care of while writing a notice right so first of all it is written the name of the organization issuing the notice okay so for example if i uh, if i'll give you the example uh, below that below the points you can find out the format right so always remember to write the notice in a box a box is to be drawn and a notice should be written in that okay so first thing what you need to uh, remember is this thing you can find here the name of the institute okay name of the organization or institute issuing the notice okay then second thing what you can find in this format is you need to write the notice you need to write the word notice after the name of the organization so that you can find it over here yes so this way you have to write notice in the center okay then next thing is a heading to introduce the subject of the notice All right so a heading means uh, you need to write the topic what is the purpose of notice or why you have written this notice so a particular or specific heading should be given for that okay then 
if you find out it is written as it is written that body of letter now body means what right so the main purpose uh, of notice that means uh, why this notice is written for whom it is written the date of the event going to take place or the purpose for which the notice is written everything is to be written in this body okay so once the body is complete okay all the details regarding the notice is written in the body okay then at the last you can find out here uh, the name signature okay so signature name and designation now what is the meaning of designation right if a notice is to be written by the head of the school that means the head will write down his name then he will write down uh, the designation designation means the principal of the school so he will write down principal then if for example the students are writing then the student has to write down his name he or she has to write down the designation that means whether he is the head boy or head girl of the school right so that is the designation okay fine so we'll move further so this is just the format of the notice and what all points you need to remember while writing the notice is described over here so it is written a well written notice must inform the readers about the five w's right so most most important thing what are those five w's what is going to happen that is the event that means why this notice is written so you need to write down the purpose where it will take place okay when it will take place that is the date and the time and who can apply or who is eligible right so if we have displayed uh, displayed the notice so for whom it is okay to whom it is applicable so that thing should be clear then whom to contact or apply to that means uh, if i am eligible for that notice and i need to inform it to someone else regarding uh, the information i have received through the notice then whom can i inform okay so there it should be the name of the issuing authority or the contact number of the issuing authority should be given okay then again most most important thing as we have discussed earlier that this is a kind of formal communication only the most important point should be written right nothing extra should be there you can read over here only the most important points should be written in the notice right we don't need to write anything extra it should be clear cut and point to point it should be precise and to the point only okay nothing extra should be written then it is written that aod that is any other details given in the question right so if any kind of information is to be given to the student regarding the change in the timing or the holidays okay any kind of information there is any other detail is to be written in the notice okay then it is further written that one is free to add any relevant information not included in the question so if you are uh, given a topic and if you think that uh, some thing there is some information is relevant that means it is important to disclose in this notice then you can mention that okay and further it is written the sentences should be short and grammatically accurate okay so that i have already told that the point should be precise that means short and to the point okay now we'll move further they should be in the passive voice as far as possible so you need to take care of this okay the notice should be presented within a box so we have seen the format over here right the notice is written in the box okay this is the format of notice okay further the word limit for a notice is 40 to 50 words okay the only the words in the body of the notice are counted that means when we are talking about 40 to 50 words notice these words are such which are included in the body that is the main part of the notice okay so that should be considered that means the body should consider should consider for, uh, or should be written in 40 to 50 words the next it is given information given in the notice must be clear and should not cause any misunderstanding or confusion right because notice is very important thing 
uh, it will be read by many people maybe hundreds or thousands or lakhs of people right so it should be as simple as possible as clear as possible because if something is written in that which is a misguiding or a confusion is created then at a time from one notice hundreds or thousands or lakhs of people will get misguided okay they will be getting confused so it is written that it must be clear and should not cause any misunderstanding or confusion okay further a notice must be catchy and appealing again a very important point catchy catchy means it should be attractive so once you have a look at the notice you should feel that no i must read this whole note notice okay so it should be catchy and appealing that means the meaning is written it should be it should attract the readers attention at once fine we'll move further increase the visual appeal of your notice by using bold letters catchy slogans striking words and phrases etc that means we need to underline the important points or words or phrases okay some important slogan should be read, uh, written so that the readers get attracted towards it fine and the last and the most important point standard abbreviations are not allowed standard abbreviations means short words for example uh, many a times for uh, abbreviations for example you use uh, great so you write down g r and 8 right so if a person who is not aware of that abbreviation okay then he may get misguided or he may uh, get confused right so never use any abbreviations okay standard abbreviations are allowed but abbreviations which are not standard that means which are not known to the people should not be used okay so only those abbreviations which are known to the maximum people uh, which can be said as standard abbreviations should be used or they are allowed in the notice further the marking scheme is given right so usually notice is asked for four or five marks right so uh, how this marks are distributed okay what is the weightage of each and everything uh, is written over here okay the name of the organization is written first then notice below that and the head, heading and the date is written so it carries two marks okay then it is written the name and designation of the person okay then it is written placing the notice within a box so if a box is drawn half marks is given if a person's name and his designation is written again half mark is given okay and the content and the language content and the language means the body part so it also carries two marks so total if you count it carries five marks okay so here i'll show you the format of notice okay so i have got two different notices with different weightage one with four months and one with five months right so uh, this is a notice which carries four months that means if a notice is of four months then how the weightage is given okay first of all you can see here at the top okay half mark so for what it is given name of the organization or institution or office issuing the notice okay here it is queen mary convent lucknow so if you have written this part you will get half mark yes okay then the word notice okay the date when the notice is issued that means when you write this notice and the date and again the most important thing the date the format of the date how to write the date so it should be always written like this right the date that means the day should be written first that is 8th okay then the month should be written okay that is august and then comma should be placed and after that the year should be written so this is the format of writing the date so the word notice and the date carries half mark okay then again the heading or the subject okay so here you can find out the heading or the subject yeah here this is the heading or the subject okay that is inter school english debate so this is the heading 
and it carries half mark again then we'll come back below that so this part right so this is the body okay or the main content of the notice it carries two marks right so it should be written precisely and perfectly okay so this part carries two marks and at last you can find out here okay that is the designation as well as the name name of the person and the designation so it carries half mark again so this way four marks is allotted for the notice okay now further i have one more sample copy okay so when five marks are allotted for notice then how the marking is done so you can just have a look over here okay name of the organization or institution or office where it was half mark earlier it is one mark over here again notice and the date carries one mark then the heading or the subject is there okay main body or the content carries two mark and the name of the person who is issuing the notice and his designation is written then it carries one mark so this thing should be uh, considered well and it should be taken okay we should consider it properly and then write the notice to score the maximum marks okay now if you will further find out okay yeah here adherence to the word limit is important so uh, there is regarding the marks if you are writing too much in the notice then to your marks may get deducted so as it is a formal communication try to use precise sentences and to the point words okay now further value points in the notice that means uh, whenever any notice is written okay we know that notice can be used uh, there for many different purposes so first format is regarding the meeting if the notice is to be written for any kind of meeting so date should be there time should be there at what time the meeting will start and at what time it will get over then the venue should be mentioned that means uh, at which place the meeting is going to be get conducted what is the main agenda or the purpose of the meeting should be uh, written in the notice and who is to attend the meeting right any uh, important person or the dignitaries are going to attend the meeting then contact address and specific instructions if any regarding the meeting is to be mentioned then it is to be written okay so this is the format for meeting and the points which are to be included while writing the notice for meeting further we'll check it out another format that is lost and found so many a times notice are written on the notice board for articles or things lost and found many a times many things are lost by many people okay and if someone finds it then he gives a notice regarding that so what should be included in there right so it is article lost or found that means if a person who is writing the notice has found anything and he wants to return it back then he should mention the thing or the name of that thing okay then the date should be there time should be there place okay so uh, again the place should be mentioned then identification mark should be there because how you will uh, make the other person know that which thing it is and how does it look okay so if the identification mark is there okay then the person who actually has lost his thing will easily come to know that it is exactly his thing or not okay then the contents or what all things are found if a purse is there or if a bag is found then what all things are found inside it should be mentioned then whom to contact okay so if lost thing is to be uh, given back or it is to be taken back then whom should be contact when and where the person should be contacted okay or where and where the person will be found so it should be mentioned 
then again another notice is regarding the events okay an event is going to take place so write a notice for that so again name should be there date should be there occasion what is the event that occasion should be mentioned again time for the occasion that means at what time it will start at what time it will end what is the venue that is the place where the event is going to take place okay eligibility means who all are eligible for that event okay then contact address and specific information if there if there any okay then further it is tours camps and exhibitions so if such kind of notice is to be written what all things should be included in that okay name and nature that means if the tour is there then uh, what is the purpose or for example it is a nature tour or a tour from the school or a social or economic purpose tour so what is the purpose or the nature of the tour it is to be written okay then occasion should be mentioned why it is taking place the venue that means the place where the tour is going to be conducted date when it will start when it will end okay objective inform objective that is information invitation and appeal okay so all the information regarding the tour or the camp should be mentioned in detail okay and further they should be invited that uh, if you are interested in such kind of camp or a tour you are invited most welcome okay then the fees again most important thing the fees should be mentioned what is the fee for the tour or the camp then the time duration that is for how many days that is two days three nights or five days six nights okay it should be mentioned then contact address should be there that means if you want to join the tour then whom should you contact so details regarding that person should be given okay and if it is a tour then you should give some special instructions okay that what all things should be carried and what all things must not be carried so all these things should be mentioned in the notice okay so all these things is important now uh, one sample notice is given below that i'll just read out that a question and we'll try to find out how this notice is written the residents welfare association green park is organizing a holy fiesta in the locality right so as we all know that holy is the upcoming event or the festival so specially i have kept this so as the president of the association draft a notice in not more than 50 words informing the residents about the same give other essential details too okay so how this uh, notice is written so first the organization that is the residents welfare association then we have to write down notice okay below that it is the date so the format you can see 10th jan 2007 is written here then the heading will come so for what this notice is given that is holy fiesta okay then comes the main body or the content the residence welfare association is organizing a holy bash in the colony as per the following details so all the detail is given that is the date when this holy fiesta is going to take place that is 17th feb 2007 okay then the time is given when this event will take place that is between 9 am to 5 pm venue that means at which place so there is green park club okay further the information is given that the residents are requested to come along with their families and friends and add color to the rejoicings right so below that the name is given that is Ravi Kumar and above that the signature is there and below that it is the uh, the person designation is written that he is the president of residence welfare association so his designation is written so this is how the notice is to be written you can find it out nothing extra is mentioned only those points which are important is mentioned in this notice 
okay so students uh, this was the sample copy further i have given you more sample okay you can go through this uh, different notices okay when you are writing in your fair book or when you are practicing it so uh, i'll just go through this uh, the second notice is regarding on the occasion of national science and technology day the school has decided to organize a science fair vikram the secretary of the science society wants to call a meeting of the office bearers of the society to discuss the arrangements for the fair write a notice in not more than 50 words so if such kind of question is given then how to write notice is given below it then the third question ram lakhani is the head boy of the uh, bhavan vidyali chandigarh he and some other students of the school are touched by the plight of the poor and the destitute in the state run homes and wish to make a difference in their lives by lessening their sufferings they decide to raise funds for this purpose write a notice not exceeding 50 words make an appeal for the generous donations again for that the notice is given so please go through it and try to practice more and more notices so that in your exam you can give your best okay then here it is the fourth sample copy okay which is you are partha sharthi mishra the head boy of st john's high school dalhousie you have been asked to write a notice regarding a sports kit bag found on the school playground write the notice in not more than 50 words invent necessary details okay so again you can find a notice okay which is regarding the sports kit bag found at the school playground then last sample copy is number 5 that is you are the cultural secretary of your school write a notice in about 50 words inviting the names of the students uh, who would like to participate in the variety of the program variety program that you are planning in aid of an old age home in your city items may be in the form of solo and group singing mono acting magic show dance performance etc trials for the most suitable participants will be held during the zero period every day so again this is regarding the cultural event okay which is going uh, which is going to be conducted by the school fine so for that a notice is given right so this is fifth sample copy okay you can practice this also and at last i have given you some questions to practice on your own right so total eight questions are there uh, you can go through this questions and try to practice this by your own okay so here you can find first to fourth questions okay and then i'll move further and the remaining five to eight questions are given over here so these are the extra or the additional questions uh, which you can practice on your own so here our notice writing topic gets over and uh, i request all of you to practice at least four to five notice by writing it in your notebook okay uh, thank you everyone for listening to me and i thank you everyone for watching my video also thank you